Hello, I'm Gene Williams. And I'm Alan Lyle. And welcome to another edition of Integrity Talks. This week, okay, let's do it. Email, not just email, but email etiquette. You're not like turning into Emily Post here, are you? No, no. no. <laughs> uh, there, are, there is a, a set of rules when you look at email in the business world, right? Absolutely. You know, let's face it, uh, one of my biggest mottos for our team is V to V wins. And that it stands for voice to voice wins. But you're not always going to get the person on the other end right. to answer the phone. So there are going to be times where you're going to have to communicate via email. Right. Uh, but there is an etiquette to those emails. There's, a, there's some things that uh, we'd like to share with you guys about what to do and what not to do. You, know, you would think in the 21st century, this, a lot of this is so much common sense now, but we still are running into it every day where you think, you know, that probably wasn't the right thing to put in an email. Absolutely. And you see even a misspelled name or the wrong punctuation or just the simplest of things uh, can trigger a customer to say, you know what, I, I'm mm -hmm. not going to do business or I'm not going to respond to this email. So uh, in that spirit, we just, we're just we going to just go over just a few of those bullet yeah, points. And, and you may think something like that is petty, but I'm going to tell you, I'm one of those people. Yeah. Okay, Alan, it is a common name, but you know, I've seen at least five ways to spell it, three that are common. Yeah. If you're going to write me, spell my name right. Correct. Uh, you know, I'm just, it's just the way I am. In the same way for me, you know, uh, Gene, uh, for a male spelling is G-E-N-E. -E. Right. A female spelling is J-E-A-N. Right. And I can't tell you how many times people will email me J-E-A-N, mm -hmm. and, and it, it perturbs me as well. Sure. That's a female sure. spelling. So. so not only that, but, but even the salutation itself. Absolutely. Uh, here, here are a couple. Yo. Okay, that's not that. First of all, don't start it. Yo. <laughs> right. Or, hey, buddy. Right. You know, it, that's, that's just not the way you do it. Yes, exactly. So in that spirit, again, we're going to just kind of share with you some of, um, and the, again, these are just a few. Yeah. These are not, this is not the hard line uh, in the sand. These are just a few that we're going to go over and, and uh, share with you the email and, etiquette in the, in the business world. And some of these are, are actually just our opinion, but I think yeah. uh, they're, <laughs> it's a good opinion. Absolutely. You know, just to Absolutely. pat ourselves on the back here. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's, let's look at the body of the email. We've talked about the beginning of it, a good salutation, uh, spell the names right. Uh, in the body of the email, there are some things that should and shouldn't be in there, right? That is correct. You want to make sure that you're grammatically correct, you're, you're checking for misspelled words. You don't use all caps. Uh, the perception on the other end of the line could be that you're yelling. Right. Punctuation, you mentioned that. That's, that's one of my pet peeves, I'll be honest with you. The, people have called me for years a grammar Nazi. I'll, I'll take that title. Because there are places, I, I have a friend right now, anything, and we're talking email, uh, Facebook posts, anything, he, he's like he's allergic to commas. <laughs> but there, there are times you need to have that comma in there. The right word, to, T-O, T-O-O, T-W-O, know what you're writing, folks. You That's really fair. need to know what you're writing. Here's one of my pet, personal pet peeves is the... Uh, overuse of background colors or the polka dots. Oh, you mean like a, a stationary? Correct. Type. Okay. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when I reply, and then this background color of the stationary pops up, and now my email looks like I've used it, it drives me crazy. Okay. So I see. Now I, I learned something new about you today. I did not know that. Yes. How about? Hey, let me ask you this. Here's one that that I'm on the fence about. Emojis. I see occasion, and I'm okay with like, you know, if you're trying to convey an, uh, an attitude like, hey, I'm happy about this, I don't mind a smiley face, but there are so many emojis out there, and then when you load it down with it, I can see that, but what's your view on it, yes or no, on emojis? I would say in a professional email where you do not have a relationship yet, leave them out. Okay, so, so none at all? None at all. I, I get it. That's yeah. my personal yeah. opinion. And, and I think it's good because we're not talking about a personal email. We're talking about a professional email. That is correct. To the business world. That is okay, correct. here we go. We're talking about things that you do and don't put in there. My opinion is that, and, and this is tough for me because I tend to write emails the way I speak. And, and you and I both know that I r rely heavily on humor. Mm -hmm. You can't read humor sometimes, particularly very subtle humor in emails. You, you don't hear the intonation of the voice. You don't hear the ups and downs. Humor can actually come back and bite you. Absolutely it can. And that's why my motto for my team is V2V wins. If you're trying to convey humor, 
then do that voice to voice because you're going to be able to hear that voice inflection. You're going to be able to hear that smile mm -hmm. through your voice. I can't hear a smile in any email. Now, granted, if you're leaving a voicemail, you can hear that. Yeah. So there's going to be times where you're going to follow up that voicemail with an email, uh, but leave that humor out. Have you ever, have you ever had someone send you something and, and then your, your immediate reaction, you know, that knee jerk reaction is, well, I'm going to respond back to that so-and-so and, and you're, you're mad about something. I think if any of us are going to be honest with ourselves, we have had emotional responses mm -hmm. and sometimes it feels good to type back a, a response, but if you'll take time to review what you've writ written mm -hmm. in that email, mm -hmm. you, that emotional response, if you'll review that, a lot of times just the act of writing it out is just enough and then hit the delete button. I think that last step is the important one, <laughs> hit the delete button. Correct. You can, you know, you, you remember, I, I'm trying to think of, if what, uh, what some of the old TV shows uh, that would talk about, you know, they wrote that nasty letter, whether it was to their boss or to a girlfriend, and they put it in the mailbox and then they, they realize, dumb move, and then they're trying to get it out of the mailbox. Correct. You can't return and get an email back. When that you hit correct. that send button, it's gone. That is correct. And you know, a, a lot of these things that we're talking about, the do's and don'ts or the etiquette of email, they also apply to direct messaging across social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Same thing applies on, say, LinkedIn direct messaging. These same things apply. Um, but until you've established a rapport with that person, I, I don't try to communicate that way. I may reach out to them to say, is it okay for me to send you an email? Again, it's in their contact information. I very rarely try to, to do that without their permission. But again, it's all through building rapport. I would rather speak to someone voice to voice before I ever have to start communicating via email. Now, once again, let's, let me stress that these are just suggestions. These are things that we've come across in our years in the industry. We want to share them with you. That's right, Alan. And if you've got some additional ones or you've got comments, please share them with us. And until next time, I'm Gene Williams along with Alan Lyle for this edition of Integrity Talks. Join us next time.